Hey guys, it's Tim and Shauna, and it is almost the end of 2020. Woohoo! So uh, we're outside, it's a little chilly, uh, the rope's a little stiff. We're going to do our best. What we want to work on today is fixing a mistake that we call dropping hands. It's a real classic mistake for beginners. Um, we'll see some intermediates do it as well. And basically it involves opening up at the elbow joint. So, um, assuming you're not a professional jump roper, you're going to want to keep your hands up about waist high, like Shauna is showing right now. And any big deviation from that, either dropping the hands low or raising them high, is going to cause a problem. It's that constant flexing and extending of the elbow that creates that slapping sound that you just heard. Um, and specifically when the hands come down, when the elbow opens, the rope slams into the ground and it's going to catch your feet. Now, can you get some successful jumps? Absolutely. You can probably get quite a few. Um, but your progress is going to be severely limited and you're going to work a lot harder than is necessary. Um, so let's just review a couple of basics. So elbows are in tight to the ribs. Now everyone's going to be a little bit different as far as how comfortable that is. If you have massive triceps, um, Shauna does not, but if you did, <laughs> uh, you're probably not going to be able to get those elbows in as tight as Shauna can. That's fine, but what, what we don't want is to have those elbows far away from the ribs. That's going to load the shoulders. All right, so that's your starting position. And then hands can vary from where Shauna has them to a little bit lower, for sure, not a problem, as long as you're consistent. But the trouble comes in when you start flexing and extending that elbow. And there you see it with the windmill swing. So uh, windmill swing is a good way to work on this, uh, especially if you have a mirror and, uh, or a partner. And there you can see that elbow is very quiet and Shauna's turning the rope entirely by rotating her wrist. 100% wrist. That's, that's going to be the goal. That's going to be the most efficient for you. Now this rope's going to get a little bit <laughs> tangled because it's, it's quite chilly. Um, so if we show a, um, a good jump, quality jump, Shauna's going to go ahead and jump normally, you're going to see very little motion, almost none at the elbow. It's all wrist. The fingers get involved too, and there it is from the side. Now once she deviates from that and starts to bend the elbow and then extend it, and here we go with the mistake, you see a number of things and you hear a number of things. You see the rope around Shauna's neck, which is not good. You see the arc of the rope get all distorted. It's no longer a smooth semicircle. You see the rope striking the ground and bouncing and sometimes catching Shauna's toes, sometimes not. But even when it's not catching her toes, uh, it's forcing her to work a lot harder and the chances of her missing go up exponentially. Um, so here's what we want to do, guys. We want to maintain that hand position throughout our entire bout of jumping. So whatever uh, bend we have in our elbow, we're going to maintain that. We're not going to let it open and close. And to do that, we can do our windmill swing, we can bring our elbows in tight, look at ourselves in a mirror, we can work with a coach. There are a number of things that we can try. 
But as soon as you revert back to the bad habit, you have to stop, okay? This is our rule. You have to stop and you have to back it up to the windmill swing or back it up further and put your rope down. Always break the habit as soon as you notice it. So you gotta have your awareness radar on high. Um, it's the only way to prevent these mistakes from occurring in the future. All right, so again, just quick review, keeping those hands about waist height, uh, slight bend in the elbow, there's a range that works well, you find what works for you, and then do not allow yourself to open and close that elbow like that. That's, that's a killer. Okay guys, so dropping hands, there's a good way to fix it, a couple of ways. And thanks for joining us. Uh, feel free to ask questions in the comments below. We'll get back to you. Um, give us a thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you next time.